video, I showed you how I made a cardboard shield because I was getting pelted with uh, hot aluminum as I turned this down. Eight inch diameter, turned it down to seven inches, and uh, this is about uh, 700 thousandths uh, deep. This is going to be for my uh, rotary table, a pallet for my rotary table. And I already put a half inch hole in here. Um, I'm not going all the way through the table. My idea is that the rotary table has a 5 8 hole uh, in the center. I'm going to bore this to fit a 5 8 pin and make a 5 8 pin that will sit in here but not go all the way through the um, plate here. There'll be a, a, a lip on the other side so that the plate, not the plate, the pin cannot go through the plate. The purpose of that will be that this pin will have a hole drilled in it on both sides. One side maybe a 1032 and the other side a quarter. I still gotta decide on this, what I'm gonna do. Uh, maybe even bigger, go uh, three eighths. That way, the center hole, when it's on the rotary table, can be used as a hold down because the pin can't pull through. So anyway, um, let me get set up. Gonna basically bore this so it uh, fits nice and tight on uh, a five eighths uh, gauge pin. I got a little chicken scratch down here, had to get it straight in my head. So I'm going to punch a hole all the way through th uh, 3 8 375, and then I'm going to leave a, a quarter inch lip so my 625 hole will leave a quarter inch lip inside. One inch, so I'm going to go in uh, three quarters. Let me uh, turn on the power. If you hear a fan running right now, um, it's a dehumidifier. De 55 uh, is the humidity right back here in my machine room. This week we've been having high humidity and it's 85% uh, uh, humidity here in, uh, at our home. It's been interesting. It's not been that hot, but it f certainly feels warm. All right, let me turn on the three phase. Okay, let's get a uh, hole board in this guy. Of course, where I put you... <laughs> uh, where I got the camera, the lock for the tailstock hits, so I gotta move you. Isn't that the way it works? Let's try that. Now I can't see what you're seeing. Okay, I think everybody's set up now. All right, let me get a boring bar set up. Okay, got my tool touched off on the face of the plate. We're going three quarters of an inch deep, and uh, we'll get into that uh, three eighths hole first. So reset my depth, shortened up the boring bar. I've got a dial indicator over here to check my depth. Back on where I was, so we'll take a pass, see if we get a nice clean cut.
getting my head on the microphone, taking a look. Uh, we'll make one more quick pass now that we know that we're good. And get a little cleanup. And then check the board. Sleep. Okay, I didn't like the finish I was getting. It was terrible with that boring bar. Just too skinny. I thought I was going to work in the aluminum. Twenty thousands cuts were wasn't working. Switched over to a Criterion uh, high speed cutter, and uh, I'm liking it. So I have my depth reset. So I don't crash anywhere, and uh, we can. Uh, Go ahead, back to zero, and take a 20 thousandths cut. I'm just feeding by hand and uh, give it a little juice. Let me do some measuring. Okay, just checking the hole I got. 528 will have a little bit of wiggle and a 529. is basically fighting to start. So we'll call it uh, 528. Set the DRO to uh, 528.5. Headed to uh, 625. So just for checking, we'll go into 575. Let's see what we get. Seventy five gauge pin. Just a little loose. Five seventy six. at it. 576 won't go home. Take her out to uh, 600. Get a 
599.5. We'll see what that gets us. It's time for my shop lights to automatically turn off. Not the safest thing, but good thing. Good thing that the uh, lathe light is on the three phase circuit. Alright, let's go again. The lights stay on for about 25 minutes before they shut off. See if we get a 600 in there. And there's 599. Six hundred. Perfect. Just a smidge of slop. So I gotta cut a half thou under. Six twenty two a little loose. Six twenty three. Huh. Six twenty four. Oh, maybe we got lucky and hit it. 625. Ha! 625 tight. Lucky Pierre. I know to step up on things just to double check. Perfect. on this uh, hole and we will be good to go. Okay, back at the rotary table here, 5 8 hole, and just give you a little show of what the setup is, what I was planning. There's the uh, 5 8 uh, gauge pin right there right now that centers it right up on got my hole up top here which will be threaded 
and then I've created this lip so that I could actually uh, clamp material if I needed to and it doesn't uh, hit anything. So end up with uh, 8 inches out here, right? Yeah. So now um, I need to, what am I doing now? I need to make my uh, pin for the uh, center here. Um, and then I'll end up doing any of the other work here right on the rotary table. Hey, I know what I got to do. I got to make tea nuts. <laughs> no tea nuts. It's not going to uh, fasten to it very well, will it? Come on off. Come on off. There you go. So that's the next project is uh, get tea nuts made for here. Thanks for viewing. I hope that you enjoyed. There should be a part two. And as always, uh, please subscribe, share, and comments are always welcome. See you again soon.